Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss writing a research title. In identifying a topic, first identify a topic to study and reflect on whether it is practical and useful tender to take the study. So describe the topic in a few words or in a short phrase. The topic becomes the central idea to learn about to explore in a study. So, several studies can help to start the process of identifying topic. Number one, draft a brief title for the study. So, according to Glishne and Pitchken of 1992, which is cited by Chris Well, working title becomes a major road sign in research, a tangible idea to keep refocusing on and changing as the project goes on. It is a sign often used in conveying to others the central notion of the study. And number two, how would this working title be written? So try to complete this sentence. First, my, my topic is about. So magsisimula tayo sa ganyang uh, sentence lang muna. No? My topic is about. Sa so, mag-iisip ka kung ano yung uh, napupusuan mo o yung interest mo sa topic na uh, gagawin mo sa quantitative research. And then, sunod, dudugtungan natin. So, may napili ka na, may napili ka ng topic, so dugtungan natin. My topic is about factors affecting students' performance in new normal. So, magsimula ka muna, paunti-unti. No? Uh, paunti-unti hanggang sa makabuo tayo ng title. So, according to Wilkinson, uh, to start the process of identifying a topic is be brief and avoided wasting words. So elimin uh, eliminate unnecessary words such as an approach to or a study of. Use a single title or a double title. Consider a title no longer than 12 words. So eliminate most articles and prepositions. And make sure that it is includes the focus of the study. Another strategy for topic development is to pose the topic as a brief questions. So like number four, what questions need to be answered in the proposed study? So for example, the topic is about online learning and academic performance. So a researcher might ask, how does online learning affect the academic performance of the students? What are the factors affecting the students' academic performance? Consider how these questions might be expanded to be more descriptive of your study. A researchable topic. So to actively elevate the chosen topic to a research study, Reflect whether the topic can be should be researched. So, a topic can be researched if the researchers have participants that willing to serve in the study and if the researcher have resources at key points in the study such, such as resources to collect data over a sustained period and resources to analyze the information such as through data analysis program. Characteristics of effective titles in research studies. So number one, indicate accurately the subject and scope of the study. So the concise no, of the subject and scope in terms of sample and populations. Number two, avoid using abbreviations. So instead na ang gamitin nyo, SHS dapat buuin natin. So gawin natin senior high school. Use words that create a positive impressions and stimulate reader interest. So, kailangan ma-convey. So, parang uh, title ng isang pelikula. No? Kapag nabasa natin yung title, uh, nagkakaroon agad tayo ng interest. Na kahit di pa natin alam yung kwento. Doon pa lang sa title, uh, nakuha agad yung attention natin. So, ganyan ang paggawa uh, ng isang research title. So, sa title pa lang dapat, ma-impress na natin, no? yung readers o yung panel natin. Number four, 
Use current nomenclature from the field of the study. Number five, identify key variables, both dependent and independent. So, kailangan, the title must also uh, say the independent and dependent variables. So, dapat alam mo, doon pa lang sa title, makikita na agad yung dependent and independent variables. Number six, may reveal how the paper will be organized. So, the title must also say the intended outcome. Number seven, suggest a relationship between variables which is support the major hypothesis. Number eight, is limited to substantive words or descriptive terms and phrases that accurately highlight the core content of the paper. So, nabanggit kanina, di ba? Uh, i-eliminate natin yung mga unnecessary words. So, dapat yung mga kailangan lang. Number nine, does not include study of, analysis of, or a similar construction. Kasi baka redundant na yung ibang uh, word na gagamitin natin. So, tingnan natin baka yung gamitin natin uh, isang word similar na dun sa ginamit natin. Titles are usually in the form of phrase, but can also in the form of a questions. So, title must exactly tell what the research intend to do. If a quote is used as part of the title, the source of the quote is cited being uh, using an asterisk and footnote. Use correct grammar and capitalization with all first word and last word capitalized, including the first word of the subtitle. All nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs that appear between the first and last words of the title title are also capitalized. So, dapat dito, pwede kayong mag-ask no, ng help sa mga uh, English teachers nyo. In academic studies, rarely is a title followed by an exclamation mark. However, a title or a subtitle can be in the form of a questions. So, again, para maganda or effective yung research title natin, mag-ask tayo ng help sa mga teachers natin para makorek yung grammar, yung organization, ng, uh, yung orga, para makita, na orga, ma ma-check lang, no? na-organize yung word natin na ginamit. And then, of course, yung mga gagamitin nating word doon. So, kailangan uh, accurate at dapat kasi yung research title, that is the Uh, shortest version ng no statement of the problem. So, kaya dapat maingat tayo sa paggamit ng mga words. Writing a research title, according to Preto, the title of the research must be clearly reflect the topic of investigation and it must be original, clear, concise, and specific. When you finally decide on a research topic, make, make sure that your research topic and research questions match. Two broad topics will lead you nowhere. In order to narrow down, narrow down broad topics to specific ones, the purpose of the intent of the study must be clear. So, kailangan yung mga broad topic, topics natin, uh, every breakdown natin no, into specific topics. So, broad topics should always be narrowed down. So, for example, uh, the broad topics is about PG lessons in mathematics classes. So, pwede natin yan in narrow down using the specific topic, a correlation study on the use of PG lesson in senior high school mathematics classes and student achievement. Another example, uh, the broad topic is about social networking. So, what will be the specific topic? The cost-effect relationships of social networking and online selling. Techniques in narrowing down a topic into a research questions. So, according to Newman, 2007, cited by Preto, suggests the following techniques in narrowing down broad topics. So, number one, examine the literature. 
So, published articles, published articles are an excellent source of ideas for research questions. So, they are usually at an appropriate level of specificity and suggest research questions that focus on the following. Now, letter A, replicate a previous research project exactly or with slight variation. Letter B, explore unexpected findings discovered in previous research. Letter C, follow suggestions on authors gives for future research at the end of an article. Letter D, extend an existing explanation or theory to a new topic or settings. Letter E, challenge findings or attempt to refute a relationship. Letter F, specify the intervening process of and consider linking relations. Number two, okay, number two, how to narrow, narrowing down a topic into a research questions. Talk over ideas with others. First, ask people who are knowledgeable about the topic for questions about it that they have thought of. Seek out those who hold opinions that differ from yours on the topic and discuss possible research questions with them. Number three, apply to a specific context. A. Ask people who are knowledgeable about the topic for questions. So, that should be So again, focus the topic on specific historical period or time period. Narrow the topic to a specific society or ge geographic unit. Consider which subgroups or categories of people, units are involved and whether there are differences among them. Number four, define the aim or desired outcome of the study. First, will the research questions be an exploratory, explanatory, or descriptive study? B. Will the study involve apply or basic research? So that are the techniques in narrowing down a topic into a research questions. So another other topics of interest, so there are other topics of interest that you can use for a meaningful and useful quantitative research. The body health and lifestyle issues popular culture and popular music, online class, academic performance, voting, COVID-19 virus, K-dramas, online selling, poverty, and traffic and flood control. Choosing a topic for a research study, so according to LIDAR, cited by Freto, in choosing a topic, it is important to select a topic that interests and motivates you. It should be doable with the resources at your disposal and within the required time frame. Needless to say, the research topic should be focused and well-defined. Deciding on the topic also entails being a clear about which one to avoid, especially if you have a little experience as a researcher. Although topics close to your own personal experiences, may be appropriate for small-scale projects. You must not allow personal views, ideas, opinions, and prejudices cloud your thinking. So, research projects must be as objective as possible. That is freed from your personal biases or preferences as a researcher. As a researcher, you should avoid research topics that involve your making moral judgments about certain kind of behavior. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.